Did you hear? They're opening up nationals to everybody. You don't need an invite. Yeah, no. We can both go. Even though you scrub out of this game and you can't catch anything. Nationals has opened everybody. Nationals is coming back. Try to relax your anus. Try to relax your anus. This is a good looking ultra ball. Try to relax your anus, your shoulders. Colossal Titan smash the ever-loving crap out of that subscribe and the like button. What is going on, you guys? It's your boy Avery here with some fantastic news about Nationals 2022. The North American World Championship Qualifier is coming back, even though there's no World Championship this year. But we're going to ignore that because another competitive event is back. And I'm actually not going to shit on Konami this time around because it's something good. Ah, uh, it is fantastic. So fantastic. So like I said, be sure to smash that balloon crap out of that subscribe button so we can get to 800 and eventually 1,000 subscribers. But just to dive right into it, Konami put out an article yesterday talking about the North American WCQ as well as the European and Oceanic countries nationals which would be the equivalent to our NAWCQ they are bringing that back as well so I'm going to read some snippets from the article and then we'll discuss so as you can see on your screen now the article says Konami is thrilled to announce Yu-Gi-Oh trading card game TCG championships for 2022 in the individual territories of North America Central America and South America this summer as mentioned on our official social media channels due to the circumstances surrounding the current global situation the Yu-Gi-Oh World Championship 2022 will not be held this year so they're just telling people hey we're not having worlds this year but we are going to have a nationals we apologize to everyone looking forward to the event and appreciate your understanding in place of the World Championship, each TCG territory will be holding a championship event to celebrate the accomplishment of all duelists in 2022, which is basically their way of saying, hey, we're opening up nationals to everybody. You don't need an invite to come to nationals this year, which makes sense considering that since there wasn't any nationals in 2019 or 2020 or even 2021, but we didn't have any competitive events at that point, all the people who had an invite in 2019 and 2020 they needed to get paid back somehow. So the easiest way to do that, since you're now three years out from the, the initial dates, two to three years, depending on between 2019 and 2020, this was going to be the easiest way to do it. The article goes on to say that the North America Championship will be held the weekend of July 16th through 17th at the Donald E. Stevens Convention Center, located in the Chicago suburb of Rosemont, Illinois. And if you are a Florida man like myself and you did the math, you would realize that that convention center is approximately 15 hours and 48 minutes away. Ah, uh, yeah, that, that's, that's 16 hours, over 1,100 miles even. If you're going to drive 16 hours in a car to a Yu-Gi-Oh event, please go touch grass. That is way too damn long. Just take a flight. It is much easier. You won't have enough money left over to even enter the event with all the gas money that you'll be spending to get there. And I drive a Dodge Challenger, so I spend nearly $5 a gallon in gas. If I end up going, I'm taking a flight. I don't give a damn. The article goes on to say that territorial championships will also be held in Europe and Oceania, which is really good considering everything going on with Russia and Ukraine. And for a time, uh, Australia was really cracking down on COVID when all that was first going on. Like they were arresting people for not adhering to the uh, stay indoors shelter order and not abiding by the curfew. Like it, it was wild for a time. It goes on to say that as the Yu-Gi-Oh! World Championship 2022 will not be held and duelists have been competing to earn world qualifying points starting in the 2019 to 2020 season, we are making a change to the 2023 world qualifying point playoff. We are expecting the 2023 World Qualifying Playoff to 32 duelists. So they're going to expand it, I guess, from, I think it was originally top 16 to top 32. The top 16 WQP earners at the end of the 2021 to 22 season will earn a spot in the 2023 WQP Playoff. And then a new season will start after the Yu-Gi-Oh! TCG Championship this summer. And the top 16 WQP earners in the 2022 to 2023 season will earn their spot in the 2023 WQP playoff as well. Jesus Christ, that's a lot of times of saying WQP. Try saying that 10 times fast. <laughs> 
A duelist can only earn one spot in the 2023 WQP playoff. So if they earn a spot at the end of the 2021 to 2022 season and finish in the top 16 for the 22 to 23 season, their spot for the 22 to 23 season would pass down to the next duelist with the highest WQP total. Today, the popular Yu-Gi-Oh! TCG is available across the globe with products distributed in more than 80 countries, blah, 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 blah. Now, in regards to them passing off to the next duelist, Konami, this is something that Upper Deck did back in the day where if someone already had an invite to nationals from a regional qualifier, it would pass down to the next person in line. So please extend that to your regional qualifiers just in general, please, please. I would really appreciate that, please. So I know that I shit on Konami a lot, and quite honestly, this is some fantastic news. I feel like what they should do for the 2023 Nationals is also extend that to all duelists, uh, at least for the next two or three years out from 2022 and on, just because we haven't had three years of competitive Yu-Gi-Oh! Really. Like, we had some competitive play in 2019, but then COVID hit. We didn't have anything in 2020. We didn't have anything in 2021. Now we're in 2022, and things are starting to ramp back up. So I'm hoping that Konami will say, look, you haven't had a few years of competitive play. Let's extend it to 2022 and at least 2023. I understand if you can't for 2024, because at that point, it's kind of like, well, why am I going to go to regionals when I can still go to nationals at the end of the season anyway? And then it takes away from regionals themselves having any sort of validity because, you know, you need to top one of those in order to get your invite. But yet you still have many other ways that you can get your invite as well, whether it be with the world qualifying points or topping, or I think you have to win an OTS championship. You know, you have other ways to go about doing it. So guys, this is absolutely fantastic. Um, Konami, I know I crap on you a lot, but I got to applaud you for this. I, I, I really, really do, because this is a step in the right direction. This is leaning into the community as a whole, making something this competitive open to all is going to be great. And even for the Master Duel people, if they want to get involved at a high level competitive event, this is a great way to see what the game is really about at pretty much its highest level of competition. Because Worlds, let's be totally honest, is its own thing. It's got its own ban list. It's kind of more separate from everything else in the meta, or at least for that particular season of competitive play. So guys, let me know what you think about this in the comments. Are you going to be going to nationals, going all the way up to Chicago? I mean, I really don't know if I'm going to. That's a bit out of the way for me. I also want to mention at the end of the video as well, on 420, Konami did update their regional dates and locations. So be sure to check that out as well in case you want to go to a regional in your area. But with that being said, guys, thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video. And thank you so much for all of your continued support.